I know it goes like this, right? And this thing's supposed to clamp down on it. So I've learned nothing about what I'm supposed to do next. But I heard we're gonna tune it. And that means like put the peep on it and the D loop and all of that stuff. But I don't know how to do that at all. So please don't think I do. So we're just gonna stand until someone feels bad for me and offers help. The first thing we're gonna do is put an arrow rest on it. <laughs> That's the first thing we're gonna do. Okay, we're back now, and now that I kind of have an idea on what to do, we're gonna put an aero rest on. And right here we have the QAD MXT micro rest, and we're just gonna, Corbin started this for me, but we're gonna finish screwing this in, get it all tight and sturdy. So push that forward, so <laughs> Push this forward? Yep, yeah, see how it looks against the riser. Okay, yeah. You know, I can't work this well. <laughs> okay. Is this supposed to like stay? Keep going. Okay, now look, is it level? No. So if you just slide it like that. Yeah, there you go. Your next step, you're gonna put this on the string. Okay. To the groove. Put it right here? Mm -hmm. And then do what? Tighten it? Does that tighten it? Yep. Perfect. Oh, okay. Oh, voila. So you can see it's level left and right, but look at this level. Is it level? No. No. So what we'll knowledge to go level with it? I said no, not really knowing what I was talking about, so I'm glad Corbin picks that because I did not know there was another thing back here. So flip your arrow rest up and run that there. We know the bow's level now, so we want to make sure what? That the arrow is level. Mm -hmm. So we'll look in that box and see if there's anything over there that we may use to make sure the arrow's level. This box? Mm -hmm. This. What does no, that look like? This is another arrow res. That's yeah. what I thought it would do. <laughs> um, this okay. thing. No, that we could use that, but we're not. We're going to use that yellow thing. That was my next guess. Yeah. That was literally what I was going to pick up next. Yeah. Okay, so put that out there on the arrow. Like this. Well, you can pull down on that and it opens up and you can put the rubber button here. Good job. So we just kind of adjust it until the arrow is level. With the bow being level. Arrow level? Yep. I can't see it, you tell me. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Um, it could go more this way. A little bit. Yeah. So what we'll do now, it's got to be a little bit longer. <laughs> we will mark above the knock. And below. Yeah, for our knocking point. You want to know what that's going to be for? I bet you can't guess. Don't worry, I'll tell you. This. We're marking for our D loop. That's so exciting. And our knocking points. And our knocking points, of course. Can't forget about those. So we. I'm going to let you try this on the bottom one. I'm going to do the top one. So we come over the top. Mm -hmm. We tie it like, start like we would our shoelaces. Knock of points allow us to get the knock height right, get the right knock pinch, not too much, not too little. So now, we'll... <laughs> so now it's my turn. Yeah, now it's your turn. Go for it. <laughs> so now for your D loop, you burn that just like slowly burn it. 
What's up, mushroom? Mm -hmm. He said three inches. That's like a foot. So, I want you to do the bottom one. Oh yeah, for sure. Easy. <laughs> Over. Uh -huh. Under. Go through. Through first, and then under. And then pull. Up. Up. Our D loop and our knocking points on. Whoa. So now we're paper tuning. I'm just gonna shoot this bad boy here through that paper and see how that goes. Even though I don't have a peep or anything. Aim lower. 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 Aim lower. Right there. Yep. So this is like our fourth round. We're gonna make some adjustments to the bow. Aim lower. Right there. And now we got our perfect bullet hole.